What is up there, YouTube? You're probably wondering, at first glance, what am I doing? What is going on? What am I playing with right here? Well, all right, first of all, I gotta turn my phone down here. As you can see, we have... Come on. We have the HY1000L 48 volt wind turbine. Now, you probably have seen some of my other videos with this turbine. Since the video HYE comes down, Windy Nation goes back up, this thing has resided in its box. It has been in the box well, since I took it down. It has not been up, hasn't been out of the box since. It's all dirty from my, uh, my dirty hands all over it. It's been on the ground, but it hasn't been up. I've had it on the ground and I was trying a couple of tests with it, trying to get it to, uh, trying to get it to work, but it does not work. I, uh, I, I've tried everything that I'm willing to try on this thing so it, it's going to get I'm going to get a I'm going to take this off eventually and we're going to open it up because there is definitely something wrong with it I don't know what I'm at the point where I don't really care because I mean it's it's worthless really it just sits here it's in a box it's it's in the original box this is the original box it came in here HY 1000L oh well, 1000L 48 volt yeah, see? Flip it over. Huh? That, this is the original original box. It's all beat up. There's a styrofoam right there. But the main focus of this video is I wanted to show you something. Uh, since Thermodyne sent me those blades, I haven't been able to test them because I have no way of mounting them to anything. Well, I'm not going to test them with the HY1000L because... Like I said, it's, it does not work. It, it's a, just a stupid ass piece of shit turbine and HYE would not help me out in any way. They just kept saying it was something I was doing. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. Bad location, blah, blah, blah. Kind of sounds like, uh, kind of sounds like all the attacks that I had once before from somebody. Anyway, I don't care about them. I don't care about HYE. I only care about what works and who stands behind their product when it works, or even when it, whatever. Anyway, main focus of this video is my little hub adapter that I made. Um, I'm pretty sure that this shaft is the same diameter as the Windy Nation PMA. The only reason I brought this out was because I believe that that's the, that is the same diameter shaft. I believe that's a 5.8 shaft on the Windy Nation as well as on this, because, I mean, they're basically, they look identical but the Windy Nation works. <laughs> so what I had done was I took the seven blade hub here that I got from Thermodyne and I took a piece of copper that I have that just fit over the shaft very snugly and it barely fit inside the 17 millimeter hole on the hub. And when I mated them together, it fit perfectly, nice and snug over the shaft, and it, it runs true. I mean, here, you can see, maybe, that it runs, and I'm, I'm not doing it any justice by wiggling, but you can see that it runs very true to that shaft. Well, here, you can see there, it's perfect. Um... So I'm gonna try that. Let me uh, let me pop this off. Maybe I can give you a little bit better. This is a. I don't know what the millimeters version of this is offhand. So this is a a 15 16. So I believe that's 20 or 21 millimeter. If I'm not mistaken. But the 15 16 works pretty good. And it's a it's a 16 point socket, so it wobbles a little bit. But we got the big nut. 
Glock washer, flat washer, I'll get it off here, and then we have the hub adapter, or the hub. Now you can see it does, it wobbles a little bit because this shaft, see right there, it's good and tight. This shaft has actually got a, a slot in it, so you can see how, right, let me move that back so you can see it here. So you can see, there's the threaded shaft, there's the cotter pin hole. But you can see how nice and tight that is. I mean, the gap is perfect. And it fits in there nicely. I mean, like, the most perfect fitment you can get for jerry-rigging something to make it work. But there you go. That's a piece of copper tubing that I... I put in there. I cut it down with the grinder to just a little bit longer than a quarter of an inch because this is quarter inch plate and it it fits in there. I mean you can see it's perfect. It fits in there. I mean I had to tap it in with a hammer but it went in true. It went in nice and smooth. I got a little bit of a schmeggle there. I have, But I put that on the outside so the perfectly flat side is up against the turbine motor or the generator shaft. But you can see the little dip right there, a the little indentation. So that's why it was wobbling when it was up against it because it's got that little machined surface right between the shaft and the threads. But uh, you can see, I mean, it, it turns. It, it takes a little bit of effort to turn it, but it turns. And I, I didn't do video on it, but I hooked a drill to this thing. A Milwaukee drill, one of those like quarter horsepower ones or whatever they are, the really the big ones. And I had it hooked up to a 48 volt battery bank, <clears throat> and it just it bogged down and it wanted to go flying all over the place. So I I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's not working. I'm at this point now where I quite fr frankly I don't care. I'll never buy one of these. No matter what they're rebranded as, I'll never buy a high turbine. Um, I just I don't I don't care for these at all, <clears throat> and it's not because it doesn't work. Because you know I understand sometimes things break, sometimes they fail. What the reason why I'm I'll never buy one of these is because of the customer service that I got. I'll never buy a high or rebranded high turbine ever again and this is a genuine high i got this right from china okay. it's not a rebranded one it's a genuine high it even says high on the back of the uh, yaw bearing here kate well the yaw bearing casing now well, seeing the slip ring work it smooths nice and smooth but whatever what i'm going to do is i'm going to eventually I'm going to take out these six screws. They go the whole length of the motor. And I'm going to pull this motor assembly off of the yaw bearing. And then I'm going to pull the case covers off and see what's going on inside. Uh, and see what kind of... I'm going to see what kind of shit we got in there. But um, my main... My main fit focus was this. Um, cause that, I mean, that fits real nice over there. I mean, I got, I got more of this copper. I'll show you the piece of copper that it is. Cause it's not standard half inch L or M copper. It's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you could probably take like a fitting too and do it. This end here, that's where I cut it off. And it fit perfectly over that. This piece won't, but see there, if I slide it on, you can see there, it fits perfectly over that shaft. And then the outside diameter of this just fits tightly inside the hole where the shaft goes for the PMA on the hub. So tomorrow, after the paint cures and dries on that 10-blade hub, I am going to take another piece of this, what's left over here, and I cut it off. I'm going to fit it to the 10-blade hub. I'm going to put five blades on it. And then I'm going to put that up. I'm going to climb up on the roof if it's not raining again. 
it's been raining all damn day today off and on and i didn't have enough time to get up on the roof and everything with the ladder so that's why i haven't done it yet but now that i see that this works i don't have to go to a machine shop and pay thirty dollars to have somebody spin me down a 16th inch thick spacer that'll work just fine but just for testing i mean it's it's going to be wrenched down so tight up there on that pma and it's not going to be up there very long either because i do have to take the windy down and i got to do some work to the mount um but other than that i think we're uh i think we're on our way to begin testing these blades real soon on that thing because everybody that's going to test them they got thermodyne pmas that's great I don't have a Thermodyne PMA yet. I'm eventually going to get the Avenger. I'd like to get the Avenger. I think that, and if the blades are balanced nicely, and there's no uh, awkward movement with it, I think it will work. So I can get one more out of that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get it up there on the windy. We'll try it out, see what happens. Hopefully we'll get some wind. And hopefully we'll get some reliable numbers. And then I'll, once I butcher this thing apart, I uh, I want to see if that Windy Nation motor will fit on this housing, on this yaw bearing. Because that pole that I have up on the roof now is was put up there specifically for this turbine. I went out, I bought the 2-inch ID pipe, guy wired it, I cut it to a specific length and I upgraded the wiring in the pipe. Um, but I did all that work just for this turbine because of the hype. Oh yeah, you're going to make lots of power. Well, it doesn't make shit. It acts like it's on brake when it's on the roof and connected to a load. So something's wrong with it. Don't care. I'm going to take it apart um, and go from there.